Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to another video. And this week, if you're paying attention to the internet at all, at all, at all, <laughs> if you're paying attention to the internet at all this week, you would have saw that Tokyo Game Show 2019 put out some fire trailers, fire gameplays, and fire announcements for the games they're going to put out this year and next year. Now, they put out a bunch of games that yeah, so yeah, they talked about a bunch of games, but I'm only going to talk about the ones that I paid attention to, obviously. One of the games I'm, the games that I want to talk about in this video is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind the DLC pack that is going to come out for winter, and the Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Those are the top three games that I'm going to talk about. So if you're not interested in any of those games, pff, might as well click off because that's exactly what I'm going to talk about. So the first one I'm going to tar start talking about is... Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Now I played the I played Dragon Ball Z I played Dragon Ball Z Fighter Z for the Switch and that game is really good. I love the fighting. I love the the story mode in it and I love the online experience you get to play. We get to play against fighters online. It's a great game. So when I saw that they had Kakarot coming out, I was like, oh because I don't really play Dragon Ball Z's like Dragon Ball Z games like that. I watch it more than I play it. So I totally am for this RPG game. This will be the first Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Z RPG game that I've ever gotten into. I think this is like the first big RPG that's gonna come out with like a full on story. And they came out with the gameplay. They yeah, they came out with like a 15, 17 minute gameplay for the game for PS4 and it looks Perfect. It looks like you're playing like the anime but in video game form. <laughs> like, you know, besides the actual fighting, which is fun, but it's actually like a full on story where you're like exploring it's like an open world where you're flying with where you're flying with Goku and his friends and you get to yeah, you're flying with Goku and his friends, exploring the world, interacting with Bulma and Gohan and Goku and Piccolo interacting with his friends, the usual characters if you play Dragon Ball Z. And the fighting style, like, one of the things that, like, is kind of different for me is the fighting style. Well, I guess I'm comparing it to the f the fighting games that came out before it, but I don't know. I, I was hoping that the fighting style would be a little different, but I mean, I'm sure once you get into it, it'll be great. But outside of the fighting style, which isn't, like, a huge big deal, it's just a little different. They also offer side quests for Goku to do little missions. He gets to fish with his tail. He can strangely attach and detach from his... <laughs> his bot his 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 booty literally just and fish with it the game looks pretty good that's something i think i would get i think i would get i'm surely gonna <laughs> purchase and play kakarot the if you play through the gameplay um and get through it they have this interesting ending where goku is fighting against radis and piccolo kills both him and radis at the same time and it ends off with goku on the floor you're like oh my god what happened Obviously Goku's not dead. <laughs> he's a Super Saiyan. There's no way he's gonna he's dead for sure. But they left it off with the cliffhanger, and it's by far amazing. Like like I said, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. I love Goku. I love Vegeta. I love Trunks. Everyone's gonna be in the game, and it's gonna be like a whole new introduction to Dragon Ball Z and a whole new di different gaming experience. So Kakarot, definitely gonna play Kakarot. All right. So number two is Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. You can only play Kingdom Hearts Remind if you've beaten the third one, obviously. So if you haven't beaten the third one, you're not going to be able to play this one. But I'm sure by now, if you're watching this video and you've seen the trailer, you've beaten three. It's been months now, so you should have finished it. Or should have at least seen what happened in the ending. So Remind will take place during the events of the Keyblade Graveyard. And as far as we know, they released the trailer, which looks great, but it still has a bunch of unanswered questions like, is Sora going to come back? Because in the third one, he kind of disappeared after he used, misused the power of, or reused the power of waking to get everybody back, reviving everyone, but he was gone in the process. So it was kind of like, where's Sora? Um, most likely, then I get Sora back, but how? And that's the whole point I'm waiting for. I feel like instead of wasting time, putting out Remind and other DLC packs that, yes, will do great and will sell and the game will be great and the story will be just another added on story to the already long story of Kingdom Hearts, but 
and I just wanted them to just make it just simple and just take like have the events take place right after Sora left like what's gonna happen with Sora have that be a pack and then make that be a whole game or something like that but I don't know I mean it looks fine I, I don't see I don't see anything that's wrong with it I'm sure it'll be okay it'll answer some questions about Zigbar Xehanort and Terra uh Organization 13 obviously Sora Kyrie it'll you know expand the story on a little more and give us some more answers but i don't know, let me know in the comments were you were you disappointed with kingdom hearts 3 did you like it i thought the game was great with what they provided and with all the disney characters they added in and the story was good it was just you know it was kind of just like the ending was kind of like like that's it like sora's gone again like <laughs> it wasn't like there's something like there's something missing in it but i mean overall the game was great though Last but not least, Final Fantasy VII, the remake, was going to come out in March. Now, I played Final Fantasy VII on, of course, for PlayStation and the Switch. So I'm playing it on both simultaneously. But seeing the remake gameplay that they put out and comparing it to the PlayStation version is completely two different games. <laughs> it's, and I'm not complaining at all. It's like a mixture of new but yet familiar and i'm saying like it's still shinra it's still cloud it's still very much Final fantasy 7 but amped up to today's levels and it's amazing they they released the demo version for ps4 the gameplay footage and i was very very impressed like the cloud looks very good we really like the way I don't like how they added glasses for Barrett. I thought it was a little much. I wasn't in love with the glasses, but okay. I mean, other than that, he still looks the same. Um, gameplay footage looks great. Cloud moves well. The fighting style is clean. It's different from the the time style they have from PS One, where you had to wait for the timer to go before you would fight and take turns battling. So it's very open. You can use materia freely. I'm sure the summons are like on 10 in terms of how you use them in battle. And the whole map looks very good. Like like I said, it's like familiar yet new. Like it just looks great. The trailer came out recently and it released footage of the new of the play of the <laughs> of the characters I'm gonna be in the game, like Reno Rude, Sephiroth of course, Avalanche. Aerith looks very pretty. I don't know, there's one part of the trailer where it showed um, Aerith and Cloud talking about how Donnie, <laughs> Don Cornelius is very particular with, with what he likes. And it's kind of hinting like, let's go Cloud. And because <laughs> in the original game, I remember the exact same part. And I was like, oh my God, this part's going to be killer in the remake because Cloud has to dress up as a girl. So <laughs> I'm sure they're saving that look for the actual game. And I can't wait. <laughs> seeing Cloud in that wig with the um with the dress on and Don picking him oh my god it's going to be good I'm sure everyone will be satisfied with Final Fantasy 7 because like I said the game is already like a monster game in terms of Final Fantasy being one of the classic games that came out so this remake is going to be even more amazing and just bring more fans together and even bring people who played the game before to play this one even new fans who were like eh I'm not sure, but to play this one. If you have any doubts about Final Fantasy VII, this game should like cancel all your doubts because this game looks amazing. Like I said, I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. I love all the remakes they're doing. Um, even eight, even though people are arguing about that. <laughs> I mean, eight's a good game. I, I enjoy eight, but yeah, seven. I can't wait for seven to come out. It's gonna come out in March. Cat Kakarot's gonna come out in J in January and. Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind is going to come out in winter. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you're excited about Final Fantasy, Cat Garage, or Kingdom Hearts, or if you're just one of those games. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to pay attention to any of those games, or if you're more a Death Stranding fan, and, or if you paid attention to the other releases that they put out for Tokyo. So yeah, let me know. That is that is in the video. Like I said, I, I'm satisfied with the games that are coming out. It seems like PS4 is really coming out on top with the games they're putting out. It's coming out with some really really good game releases this year and next year so i'm satisfied i can't wait for that ps5 i wonder if it'll be any better <laughs> yeah and thanks for watching this video if you made it this far i post videos every friday and sunday on my channel 
So subscribe and like this video if you want to see more of me. And that is it. I'm going to shut the fuck up right now. So <laughs> thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, make sure you play a video game and I will see you next time.